Hey guys, it's Rebecca Oberstadt. In this video, I am playing StarCraft 2. This is um, another StarCraft map, I think. Who am I playing? Am I playing right? No, I am playing Matt Horner and the mercenary chick. My bad. I am not feeling good today, guys. I have had a headache since yesterday. I took medicine for it yesterday, and it kind of went away. It didn't really go away. It came back this morning with a vengeance. So, anyways, this is, yeah, Matt Horner and Mira. I want to say Han. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. This is the map where you have three warps places that they will go and there are shuttles that have that are going through those warp places you cannot destroy the warp places but all of the things where the ships are coming out are all the way at the very top of the map they also have zelnaga shrines that you need to protect there are three of them you need to protect the ship that's going to do research one of them is directly up from our base um, it looks like the other guy's already going over there gung-ho and beating hell out of stuff so you do you buddy um i didn't look at the i don't think i started recording this before with the loading screen so i have no idea who the other person's playing right now because i can't see it because i'm i'm on like uber build mode um, but, so the warp points, you got the one in the center of the map that's kind of blank, and if you look at the far left side of my screen, there's something that's got this green circle that's flashing over it. Um, I just kind of moused over it for a second. You can see where that is, and looks like the other player's message, message in me. Um, I didn't read what I, what was written in chat, but oh well. I think they're playing Dahaka. If they are, then that makes sense. So, um... You've got that one, and then to the right and the left, if you look where our secondary bases are, or where we can build them just up from those is where the other two warp things are, where the ships will go out. At first, they start off with two or three ships, and then they start sending, like, two or three sets of ships. So anything that can attack flying is a benefit. You're also going to have hybrid that come and attack you. So you really need good defenses at the actual warp gate in order to take stuff out as it comes. Um, he's up there by the, the other base that we don't usually build at because that's where all the bad guys are up there. But um, you see I just put something to build at the, the first warp gate. You can, if you have enough troops, go and... There's the other warp rate right there. I'm trying to get it visible. Um, you can go and put all your defenses and stuff right there where the warp, where they warp, where they come up out of the ground to, uh, you know, with the ships and everything. And you can just pound the hell out of them there if you want. But it takes at least one or two sets of ship rounds in order to get that going. Um, yeah, and I'm definitely playing Han and Horner right now. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, my head hurts. So anyways, um, this is just like every other one of these, uh, games is you do all your building and you build all your troops up and you open your second base, which I just did. He hasn't opened his yet or she, um, but there are like attack waves and stuff that come in that you have to ca to attack. It looks like I have Zerg that I am fighting. I have one um, of my... Like, the majority of the troops that the ship that you see there, that big ship, can build... Yeah, he's playing Dahaka. Um, it... The ship itself can attack flying, but everything it makes cannot. They're all ground. The Raven that I have out, you, which you buy it like the mercenary thing, um, that can also attack flying, and that's a little spider mine I just buried. They're so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just going over there to make sure he's protected and he's good. I'm bury another spider mine. Again, it's so freaking cute. So you will have mainly people attack the very center for the first couple of rounds, and then they start attacking the base on the right hand side so if you end up on the right hand side of the map and your secondary base is on the right hand side just be prepared that you will get attacked over there quite frequently um and it's i know it's kind of a pain in the butt and it there's the first set of shuttles coming and i'm trying to get stuff built 
so that I have a protection against stuff. So I'm actually opening their other, there you go, buddy. Um, opening their, their second thing up. And you know, doing stuff like that makes it nice for the other player for one. Two, it shows teamwork and it shows that you are willing to help another player out. And it's just one of those like nice things to do when you go and you help another player. They're willing, more willing to work with you if like say you're under attack and you need help they're more willing to help you out in that situation if you are nice to them and do something kind for them and that's the way i look at it i mean sometimes you get people that play this game on um, the levels that i play on it and they're absolute assholes so i mean it just depends on the person but if you show a little bit of kindness to them they're more than likely going to be like oh well that was nice thank you for that and then they're gonna you know go and um help you out if you get in a bind so the Let's see. Um, looks like I'm getting my defenses and stuff ready. I know where there's more ships coming up. You see that little green plus sign popping up at the very, very top of the map. All the red are all the bad guys. It looks like they're heading to the base that is to the far left. So I've got my stuff kind of in a way so that they would go um, and hit some of the stuff yeah now you can see the trajectory because it's got like little arrows and where it's going you can pay attention to that stuff after you play this map two or three times you'll get the hang of it but there's the caldeer or the, the caldeer the zelnaga shrine we are trying to protect them that's the very first one the next one that they do is going to be on the very far left up towards the top oh yeah and they they had to go away I think their baby was screaming or something like that, if I remember correctly. I was like, hello? You here? Because I can't do anything with their character if they're still in the game. Yep. He says, yeah, sorry, toddler was misbehaving. And I'm like, uh-oh. I mean, I know what that's like, having a misbehaving toddler. I've had a couple of those myself. So, I completely understand. Again, and this is another one of those cases where they're like, you know, sorry about it instead of like, well, you know, the fuck is your problem kind of thing. Because you will get those. You will get people in this game that are like, it's just a game, man. It's not like you died in real life. And you're like, no, but a little bit of a assistance might have been nice. <laughs> But um, it just all depends on how you play your game and how you deal with the people. And, you know, I really... Oh, get him, Dahaka. Burp. Our army's in the well, the, I was trying to keep that guy from running at me, and Dahaka just fucking ate his ass. Um, so that was awesome. Go, Dahaka. I've, I love Dahaka. I think he's pretty awesome. Abathur is awesome on pretty much any map. Dahaka is awesome on every map. Uh, because he can literally just walk up to something that is attacking you and just eat it. And then, you know, you have to wait for that to cool down. But I think it's really awesome that if somebody is, like, kicking your butt, you can just walk up to him and eat him. I mean, he he don't mind. Alright, uh, let's see. What am I what am I doing? I built another secondary ship. And I'm, uh, am I going to build? No, I'm going to build some more storage. Because it looks like I have 68 out of 125 for people home. So it looks like I'm building up more of those. And it looks like more shuttles just popped up at the top. So a lot of it is just preventative measures while you are still building your base. And it looks like I didn't build mine up fast enough. Um, or I got distracted, which I do that. I, I have Ushiny moments, or my dad calls 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 them squirrel moments um, occasionally. If it's not a new shiny moment, it's a squirrel moment. So I do that quite frequently. But if you look, we've got about the majority of the map uncovered except for that last little top strip, and that's where everything basically is. It is all up there at the top, and they're all heading to the left. Did I send my troops over there? What? what oh. Would you stop fucking with things and get over there? And are your troops even heading there? Yeah, I guess it, I guess they are. Your allies could use I backup. I just realized oh, I look, hadn't been doing my research, so that's another thing you need to watch out for is make sure that your research is being done. And there's the other Zelnaga shrine. Oh, that was I was like, they killed him. No, he just went on the ground. <laughs> He's like, this is. Go, uh -oh. go, go. Oh. 
bomb in his ass. Ooh. He torched my thing, though. But, yeah. So, anyway, anyways, I got distracted. Now you can see a whole lot of red up there. Da, 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 da. Oh, he brought out his special, one of his special peoples. I, I finally had enough money to bring out a battleship. Those battleships, they cost like a thousand crystals, but they cost like 900 Vespine gas, which is very expensive. But those are some, those battle cruisers are like big, nasty. Look at all the red. Holy, look at all the red. Look at all that red. And I, it looks like I'm heading towards that other Zelnaga shrine to unlock it. Um, because you know. But yeah, there's more stuff up there. Look at all the red. Holy... Um, this is... Those little, like, bombs and stuff that shoot off in different directions, those are handy because, like, you can actually use those as, like, detection. Which is something that I usually do, is you'll find that I, like, kind of put them out and then wait till it, like, shows more of the map and then I'll... Look at... Look! Look, they're not even gonna make it past me. Look at that! Isn't that pretty? Look at the Things just blow up so nicely. Get that last one. What are you doing? Anytime. No, what are you doing over here? Oh, oh, I see what you're doing. You're bringing out another battle cruiser. Oh, and and some of those. Okay. You just want to make sure that ship don't go nowhere. If you have your troops selected, now see, I move my troops as one, which is F2. It selects all of your current troops. Um, but you have, see that, that's where those turrets and stuff over by the exit really do help out. And he took out the other one, so I didn't have to worry about the other side of the map. Which is also good. Again, teamwork. So, um, I probably need like three or four more of those, but that, that what's it, hybrid asshole decided he wanted to eat the last ones that I had built. So I need to go build a few more. Also, maintaining your research, don't do like I do and forget. Because like, I'll be halfway through a game and be like, oh shh. You know, because I try and get all that stuff built up at first, and then you run out of Vespine gas, and then you can't, like, really go back, um, and you go, you wait to build up Vespine gas to get it, and you're like, you get distracted, or you forget, or whatever, and then you're like, oh, um, whoops. So, it's just one of those things that you, you don't think about, because, you know, it, it's, I don't know how to say it. Um, I get distracted and I can't remember when I did certain things certain ways and I try and go back and do things all at once because I forget and it's not always a good thing. So try to like and I'm sending them on like a patrol path. It was tickling my toes. So anyways, that's what they're doing. They're patrolling, and then anything that comes within the patrol path, they will just automatically attack it. Um, you can have your troops selected and then hit A, and then select either a target or the ground, and they will go and attack anything within that target range. Um, you, ha you can select your troops and then hit P, letter P, which is for patrol, and um, wherever they currently are, and then wherever you click, for them to go they will patrol that path back and forth so if you have like people back at your base where you built troops and say you select your troops wherever the troops are on the map they will start there and then patrol to the point that you told them to go to so it see look this is where where they come up at if you notice you just saw that that ship just came up and we are up there to basically um I'm waiting for him to get that one build, building so I can get another one built. But yeah, the uh, we're up there. That's This is where you would, usually within the first couple of rounds, you can go up there and build everything around those little platforms. And then as they pop up out of the ground like that, there's, another, there's two more. There's one there, and then there's one further over to the left. Um, but you can get them so that as they pop up out of the ground, you are basically just blowing the hell out of them. Which is good because then you kind of can go and work on your research and build and, and whatever train as you go. So it makes it a little bit easier to, to do that. Um, but again, 
we all play our own like different ways and things like that so it just really is up to how you play some people would prefer not to like build stuff all the way up there because as things pop up out of the ground your stuff is going to get attacked more you're going to have um, more issues with you know those hybrid and stuff and there's the last zelnaga shrine so it was middle right and then left for the shrines my bad i said middle left and then right so i was a little mistaken on that you know we all make mistakes so i don't know it just depends on how you want to play your game you can play this a whole bunch of different ways if you have somebody like dahaka that can just go out and just pound the hell out of stuff first thing then do it because dahaka takes less time to spawn he takes less time to revive. You can also feed him troops so that he uh, can, you know, he respawns faster. So, I mean, it really is up to you and how you want to play this game because it really is just up to personal preference. And I like that about these, this game that you can literally just do whatever. Look, he's got like six things up there now to blast stuff out as they come in. I really like that. Um, that's usually what I try and do is I'll go and I'll, I'll set everything up so that it, you know, it, as it comes up, it just, it just blows the hell out of it. So they can't really go anywhere. They pop up and they instantly die. It is the best thing ever. And, you know, it's just one of those things. You, you'll learn how to play the game and what fits you and what your preferences are. Um... I don't know, it really is just all about personal preference on certain things because I have learned that there are ways that I do things that annoy the absolute piss out of some people and there are people that like what I do when it comes to my gameplay. So it just really is a lot of personal preference and play the game the way that you want to play it and however you're comfortable with it. And yeah, this is another StarCraft tutorial talk through um, done. Um, I really don't care for Han and Horner, but that's just my personal preference. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a fantabulous day or night wherever you are. Bye.